In this video, we're gonna talk about how to make money in a bear market. You know, in the first four or five months of 2022, the market has been brutal. Let's face it, it's down 20 or 30%, depending on the index that you look at. And a lot of people are down. You know, anybody that has a long portfolio is losing money. So how is it that you can make money in a, in a bear market? I'll tell you about it. There's three ways, three surefire ways. But my favorite, I think that the best way to make money in a bear market is to actually sell puts. Sell puts on the index right at the money. That will uh, get you about, uh, if you sell for 12 month expiration, that will give you 10% uh, premium, a premium that is 10, equal to 10% of the exposure that you have. So if you were to buy stocks at these levels, you would need 100%, right? But if you sell a 12 month put, you get 10% cash up front. So you only need 90% uh, of the money in order to do a cash secure put. And you get 10% uh, downside protection. So this is not bad. The bad thing is, of course, that uh, that you, your your upside is capped to that 10% return. But uh, you know, 10% return is not bad. Uh, the market, the S&P 500, has yielded an average 10% return during the last uh, 56 years. You know that I have statistics, and in those years, only 12 years out of 56 the market has been down and in only three of those 12 years that it went down it went down by more than 20 percent and stayed down uh, most of the others like uh six times it was uh it was down less than five percent uh and uh, only about uh, three times it was more than 10 percent and less than 15 percent so you know, the market does go down from time to time. In fact, every year it goes down. Uh, there is volatility in the short term. Intra-year, uh, the, the, the index is, has been down for almost uh, 52 out of, this, out of those six, 56 years. It has been down by at least 5%. And uh, about 37 years, more than half of those 56 years, it's been down by, uh, by about 10%. So those are the classical corrections. And this is a, a, down intra, a, 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 a decline intra-year. So by the end of the year, it, it uh, recovers. So, uh, you know, uh, only about 10 years out of 56 years, the market has been down 20% or more, which is uh, the typical bear market that we're looking at today. But uh, like I say, in the hist if history is any guide, uh, you know, only three years out of 56, the market has stayed down more than 20%. So it's very likely that by the end of 2022, the market is going to recover. So, you know, going back to my, my strategy of uh, selling at the money puts on the index, on the S&P, or the QQQs, uh, you know, do it for 12, 12 months, get 10%. And if at the end of those uh, 12 months, the market is still down, you just roll that forward, roll that forward for time, use the same uh, strike price and uh, get that intrinsic value back and you get a little bit more time value. I currently own QQQ puts that expire in June 17 of this year. And uh, my strike price was 335. I originally sold these about a year ago. And that was, uh, I was making money until recently, but now I'm underwater. Uh, but, you know, come June, I'm going to roll forward for another 12 months uh, at the same strike price, 335. And I'll get a little bit more time value and since the put is gonna be in the money, I'm gonna be riding the upside. Uh, so, you know, the only real way that you lose money selling puts is if you stop, 
you know, you will never lose money selling puts if you roll for time. That's, that means holding it long term. Uh, you pick uh, underlying, uh, you, uh, you have to also pick underlines that are indexed. You know, if you do it on individual stocks, you could be in for a surprise. But if you're doing SPYs or QQQs, I mean, the entire economy doesn't go out of business. It's the same thing with uh, buying stocks. You know, you will never lose money in stocks if you hold for the long term and if you diversify. You have a, an S&P 500 portfolio, you'll do fine long term. I mean, the statistics that I, I showed you this earlier in this video sh show that. So, you know, when stock prices drop, everybody loses money. Everybody that is long, you know, and most people are long. If, if you have a big portfolio, you have to be long. So the second way of uh, making money in bear markets is actually to buy the dip. You know, you buy the dip if you have some idle cash or if you borrow money to invest. And it's good to do that. Um, if, you're, if, you, if you have a, a stock portfolio and you don't have to sell, you don't have any pressure to sell, you never lose money because you just hold it for the long term and eventually stocks recover. And the third, the third way of making money in, uh, in bear markets is what everybody does when they own, a, when they have a 401k. You know, they're just putting money every month in the stock market uh, and uh, hopefully they're buying at a lower price when stock prices are lower. And uh, if you buy $170 every month, that's $170 per month, that's $2,000 per year. In 50 years, you will have invested $100,000 and compounding at 10% per year, that would be $2.9 million. So the bear market gives you a good entry point. It's helpful because the stock prices are lower. And if you're buying stocks, that's, uh, that's good for everybody. So uh, don't panic, stay the course, buy more shares if you have the money, uh, sell some of uh, the money puts, uh, you know, cash secure puts, and, uh, and you're gonna do very well.